Hello, Reading community. So we wanted to take this chance and, and place of a written weekly newsletter to just update you on some of the things happening across our district and to celebrate and recognize some of the great things happening in our schools. So to start, I would like to thank everyone involved with our open houses. Over the past week and a half, we've had our open houses at both RISE and at the secondary level. I think I've heard from so many families how it just felt great to be back in buildings and connecting with teachers. Uh, and it also felt great to be involved and engaged with what's happening in their uh, child's classroom. So thank you to all the families for your participation and also thank you to all of our educators uh, who helped put together such a productive uh, and meaningful night for our, for our families and caregivers. As another update, I would also like to just uh, notify families and caregivers that this upcoming week uh, you should be receiving uh, your MCAS reports for your individual student. As you may know, uh, the school and district level reports have now been released publicly, so you can see those. Uh, but you should be receiving your individual uh, score report over the next uh, week or so. We'll be sharing more information and a little bit more analysis of sort of some of the outcomes from the assessment. But if you have questions about your specific child's performance, please reach out to your building principal. Then the last update I'd like to share is, as you may know, our, our central office team is committed to being in schools consistently. Uh, and one thing we're doing as we kick off this year is spending full days in each of our school communities. So this will start on Friday with myself, uh, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Hardy, and our Assistant Superintendent Dr. Sties will be spending a full day in the Coolidge School community to try to understand sort of the instructional practices, the culture, and the operations of the Coolidge School community. We are very much looking forward to all of our visits to the schools, and again, the intent of this is for us to say if we want to best support all of our schools, we need to develop a deep understanding of just what makes each school unique. So we're looking forward to spending time at Coolidge this week. Now I'd like to shift a little bit here and just also now move into some shout outs for some students and staff who we feel have gone above and beyond um, over the past week. I'd like to start, the, the high school would like to recognize uh, Ms. Bailey. Uh, as you may know, Ms. Bailey has coordinated a, uh, a trip for April of 2022 to London in partnership with Education First. Uh, the spots, the 45 spots filled up in record time, and there's now a wait list of 158 students. So I think that shows the eagerness and the appetite for experience like this. So thank you to Ms. Bailey for all her work in, in coordinating and leading this uh, amazing opportunity for our students. Also I'd like to thank on behalf of uh, Ms. Heather Leonard and the entire teaching and learning team, all of the classroom teachers and uh, special educators who participated in the grades three through six uh, professional development around our new math curriculum, uh, illustrative math. So as you know, we will have a new math curriculum this year in grades three through six. Uh, and this week we kicked off um, and pushed forward some of our PD to support our teachers to effectively implement and utilize um, the curriculum at the classroom level. So I'd like to thank all the teachers who participated. Uh, Ms. Leonard described your participation as, as engaged, collaborative, curious, and we look forward to seeing the impact of that uh, on student learning. Would also like to give a shout out to um, a, the Birch Meadow community. So you'll see here, I'm gonna show a video from, uh, led by uh, Ms. Jackie Payton of a dance off against some of the other special educators across the district. From what I've heard, she set the bar very high. Uh, so thank you to Ms. Payton and also the rest of the, uh, the BERT special education staff for diving in and showing this video, showcasing some fun and some joy in our school community. I'd like to close by just celebrating and recognizing uh, some students. And this week I'd like to recognize the RMHS band. So the RMHS band had the first competition uh, last week in Melrose. So in addition to winning first place in Division Three, the band also received awards for, caption awards for the best percussion, uh, the best music, and the best color guard. So way to go RMHS band. I would also like to give one last shout out to the two students who are helping us to uh, broadcast and to publish these videos. First to a senior, Ryan, and to uh, junior, Caitlin. Really appreciate all their work uh, through Ms. Cuevas' uh, broadcasting class. So thank you to them both for helping us put together these 
videos. We look forward to another great week here across all of our schools. Go Rockets!